Hey fellow questers. So thanks to the quarantine, it seems like the Oculus Quest has become pretty popular with it being sold out everywhere. Probably because you can play VR games wirelessly in your room. But have you ever thought, how cool would it be if I could play a VR game in my house? Of my house. Well, a user did just that. A few months ago, a person named Emmanuel Tomozoi posted a video on Reddit of him mapping out his entire house and turning it into a VR game. So after the video got pretty popular, people were asking him to create a tutorial on how to do it. And he listened to us, and graciously enough, he gave us a tutorial. In it, he includes all the scripts that you'll need to create your game in Unity, and has step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually create it. But if you would like a video tutorial on how to do this, welcome to the video. So let's get started. All right, to start this adventure, we're going to head on over to unity.com. We'll click on get started, go to individual, and then go to personal, click start here, agree and download. And this will download the Unity Hub. Once that finishes downloading, open it up and install it. Once the hub is installed, you will be presented with this screen right here. So you're going to want to skip the install wizard because this will install Unity, but it won't install everything that you need. So we'll skip, skip the wizard, and then once you come to this screen, go down to installs, click add, and mine is already installed so it's blanked out for me, but you'll want to click on the newest release, which as of this is 2019.3. So you're going to want to click on this one, but I'll show you what it looks like. So I'll click on this one, but make sure to click on that. So check that box, go to next, and then make sure this box is checked here, Android build support. So check that and also check open JDK. So that's your Java development kit, which you are also going to need. So once all those are selected, as you can see, it's going to take about 11 gigs worth of space. So just make sure you have the space in your hard drive. All right, once those three are checked, click next. Yep and then hit done and start installing everything. And then this box will pop up showing that it is being installed. Once that's done installing, we'll continue on. All right, once that is done installing, we're going to go up to projects and then go to new. Make sure 3D is selected. Name your project. So West home whatever you want to name it name it and then choose the location where you want to save it and once you're done click on create all right once unity opens up this is what we will be presented with so first things first we're gonna to go to file save as and then we will name this project or this scene mapping because that's what we're doing we're going to be mapping out our room so we'll save that alright so now before we get started with actually mapping out the room we're going to set unity up to be able to build the Android application for the game so to do that we'll go back to file go to build settings click on Android and then click switch platform so depending on how fast your computer is, this could either take a minute or it could take 20 minutes. Once it is finished switching over, this box up here, Scenes and Build, if there's anything in here, right click on it, remove it. And then we're going to click Add Open Scenes. And that'll add the mapping scene that we're currently working on. Once that's in there, we're going to Player Settings. And then here, is what we're going to actually name the game and how it's going to show up on our quest. So company name, 
you can put whatever you want in there. So I'll just do S2P Quest Home, which is the name of our game. So once that's in there, we'll scroll down to other settings. So right here, graphics APIs. Some people have had issues with getting their mapping program to work and one of the fixes was to remove the Vulkan API. So you can choose to remove it, you can choose to keep it, but to keep it on the safe side, I'm just gonna remove it. So once that's removed, we will scroll down. Go right here, identification, look at your package name, make sure everything looks right. And then down there, minimum API level, make sure Android 4.4 KitKat is selected and then we'll scroll down some more all the way to the bottom go to XR settings and if this list is empty like this says here go to the add button add oculus all right now we are ready to build the game so we'll exit out of this exit out of this and now we will start so the first thing we want to do is go up to the asset store and then we're going to search for the oculus integration package so we'll type that in oculus integration click on that so right here the first one pops up oculus integration so we're going to import that into our game we'll wait for this to do its thing All right. once this pops up we'll go to import all right, once the integration package is finished importing, this box might pop up asking if you want to upgrade. If it does, click yes, click on restart, upgrade, restart, and then wait for Unity to update itself, and then it'll reopen once it's all done. All right. So we will go back to scene up here. Now since we're doing VR, we don't need the main camera. So we will delete that guy. And then down here in assets, we'll go to the Oculus folder. And then search for OVR camera. So this is your VR camera. So we're going to bring this guy over to our scene. Once the camera is finished importing, we're going to go over here to the right side where it says tracking, and we're going to change eye level to floor level. Now we're going to go to Emmanuel's webpage and download some scripts. So the link will be posted down below. So once we get here, we'll go down to setup, and then where it says download the script from here, click here. Once that's finished downloading, we're going to unzip that OSC file folder extract it extract all right now we have that script file so we have to import it into unity the easiest way to do that is minimize this click the assets folder so you're back into the main hub and then just drag and drop it over here now we have the script now we're going to create an object to place that script in so we'll maximize this again over here we're going to create empty. We'll name it Network Manager so we know what everything is. Now if you look over to the right here, we've only got one box. So we're going to take this script down here and then drag and drop it over to our Network Manager. And now we've created a script block over here. So what we have to do now is type in our IP address. So to find that, we're going to open up command prompt so type in CMD and then we'll type in IP config no spaces it's all one word all right and then that line right there your IP v4 address that is an IP that you're gonna type in there so we got 192.168.1.1 and then your import and outport, your import will be the same as your outport, so 6161. 
what this script does is it creates a network bridge between your computer and your Quest, allowing you to wirelessly send those blocks that you create um, from your Quest to Unity. All right, so once that's done, now we're going to make another script to tell the right controller to create those blocks when we press the B button. So how to do that in the assets, I'm going to right click, go to create, new script. We're going to name it Point Placer. Open this up. All that generic stuff in here, we're going to delete that. And then to get this script, we're going to go back to Emmanuel's website, scroll down to where it says Point Placer right here, and then we're just going to copy and paste all this right here. So get that, copy it, back to our editor, paste it, I'm going to save that, close that out, go back to Unity, wait for the file to update itself, there you go, so all that information is in there now, go over here to OVR camera rig, tracking space, and then right here your right hand anchor, that's where we're going to drop this script, so we're going to Drag it over to right hand anchor, and there you go, point placer script. So what this script does is when you press the B button on your right hand controller, it'll create that block. So we have the placer, now we're going to create the script for the receiver, for the computer to receive those blocks. So in assets, we're going to create script point receiver. Alright, so same thing, we're going to open this up, delete the generic information, go back to Emmanuel's website, and right below that is all the information for the receiver script. So we'll copy all this, go back to our editor, paste it, save it, go back to Unity, wait for the file to update itself. You can place this on any object but for tidiness, I'm going to place it in our network manager. And there we go, point receiver. All right, so that about does it for setting up Unity to create our map. There's one more script we have to create to calibrate our scene, but we'll worry about that later. Now we're going to build this program and start working out of our Quest headset. So we'll go to File, Build and Run, We'll name it Quest Home, or whatever you want to name it. Save that, and then wait for the program to build itself. And I forgot to mention, before you build and run it, make sure your Quest is plugged into your computer and is turned on. Alright, once that is finished uploading to your Quest, now we're going to go up here, press the play button, and now we are ready to start mapping. So go ahead, unplug your Quest, put it on, and let's start making some cubes. First thing is to create your walls. So go along your baseboard and up the wall to create an outline of your room. Press the B button on your controller to create a cube. The more cubes you make, the better you can fine tune your room. After the walls, make the outlines for any windows you have, and then finish off with your furniture. Once you're done mapping out your room, you can take your headset off, head back to Unity, and this is what you'll be presented with. Over here to the left in Generate a Map, these are all the cubes that you placed. Before you press the Stop Play button, you're going to want to take the generated map and place it in the Assets folder. If you don't, then when you press the Stop Play button, all those cubes will disappear. Now that you moved it, you can stop play. And now we have our generator map here, and you see it's no longer over here. So we're going to take this and move it back over here, and now we have our mapped out room. All that's left to do now is to go to the asset store, find some prefab walls and doors and lights and stuff like that, and make the scene your own. So if you're new to Unity, I'll show you real quick how to get to the asset store to find the stuff you want. So up here, 
click on asset store and in the search you search for whatever you want if you want to live in a castle search for castle if you want to live in a space station you search for space stuff so that's what I'll do so type in space and then everything pops up related to space so scroll down to free assets and then environments and then we look for something that looks good so right here we have got a sci-fi modular pack so we'll click on that and if everything looks good it shows you pictures of all the models that are included with it click on download and once it's finished downloading then click on import and it will import all the assets into your game so here we click on import again and wait for it to finish loading once it does go back to your scene and then down here in your assets now you have it right here your modular pack if you go to the prefab folder here's everything you can choose from so you have floors you have windows and you have walls so real quick if you open up the wall and take this wall right here and pretty much you just want to build your scene so turn it just move it over here move it down Basically, you just want to line everything up with the cubes you just placed. So just do that with all your walls. Do it with the doorways. Do it with your furniture. Just get everything aligned into your cubes, and then you'll have your scene. So after you got the scene set the way you like it, you got your walls placed, you got furniture there, windows, your lights, and your scene can go from this to this. And there's one last step, which is a pretty crucial step, and that's calibration. To do this, we're going to create one more script. So we'll right click, create script, and then name this calibration. Open this up, delete all this, go back to Emmanuel's webpage, scroll down to optional calibration functionality, and then here's a script for that. So copy this, paste it, save, wait for the update. All right. So then we're going to drag and drop this into your OVR camera rig. So grab that, throw it in there, and there you are. See, now it's down here. So you have a hand marker and a fixed marker. So we're going to have to put two things in there. Hand marker is going to be the controller you have in your hand. Fixed marker is going to be something in your scene where you're going to place that controller to calibrate your virtual world to your real world. So in the search bar, we're going to type Oculus Quest, and then we're going to find the right controller. So left controller, right controller. So there's the right controller right there. We're going to open up the camera rig, go to tracking, right hand anchor, and that's where we're going to place this controller. And that's going to assign it to your right hand. So we'll drag and drop it to your right hand anchor. And now, we're going to grab another one and put it into our scene. This is going to be the point where you're calibrating your virtual environment. So find somewhere in your real world where you're actually going to place your controller and then when you press the button it's going to align the virtual world to your real world. So me, I have the controller right there. So that's the edge of my desk. That's the point that I'm using to calibrate both my worlds. So you place that wherever you want. Let me get these out of here. Here, I'll show you this too. So once you get everything set up, you want to remove these cubes so you're not actually looking at them. So here's all your cubes. So you click on this, go to select children, and then control and click on the parent. And then over here, the mesh renderer you want to check that box and now all the cubes will be invisible you won't see them when you're playing your game 
So once you find a good spot to place your fixed marker and it's in your scene, click on OVR Camera Rig to bring up that script block here on the right. Click on your fixed marker and then drag and drop it into the fixed marker section on the script block where it says None or Transform. And then the hand marker is the one that is in your right hand anchor. So grab that and move it over to your hand marker. All right. All that's left to do now is to build and run your game, and then we'll see what we got. Starting the game, my worlds are not aligned at all. I'm facing the front of my room, but in game, I'm looking at the back wall. Where that pen is placed, that's the point in the game where I set my fixed marker to calibrate. As you can see, when I look to the left, the Quest controller is stuck to the desk under the left monitor. Once I press the A button on the controller, the virtual world will snap to the controller in your hand and you can see the fixed marker and my hand marker are properly calibrated. Once calibrated, you can now walk around your room with no guardian. Go ahead, check out that lovely earth while tapping on the glass. And tap on that generator to make sure it's working. Now that you know what to do, you can map out your whole house and make an entire space station for you to literally walk through. 